Hi, I'm Laura, this is Rebecca, and this is Bride Society. So you may have been planning your wedding for a little while now, but taken a break over the festive period and the new year. So you might be feeling a little bit daunted, maybe overwhelmed, or just you've lost momentum in your wedding planning. So we thought we'd give you some ideas of, of ways to kickstart your wedding planning for the new year. So our first idea really is just to like sit down with your fiance over a coffee, it's a nice relaxed environment, and just check you both still on the same page about yeah. what you envisage for the wedding. So both sharing the same vision that you're working towards for whatever time it is you've got left to create your big day. Because yeah, just make sure you're in alignment yeah. and creating the same <laughs> wedding. <laughs> yeah, because if it has been a little while, then you might have seen some other kind of inspiration and thought, oh, I might actually like to do that kind of style wedding rather than what we talked about three months ago or... Yeah, just priorities change yeah. and, yeah, tastes and... <laughs> exactly. So you might just want to make sure you are still thinking kind of yeah. similarly. Still planning the same wedding yeah. <laughs> as each other. <laughs> yeah. And then, so once you've sat down, you've realised, yes, you're in agreement with everything, um, just make a list. So you can see what in black and white what you've got left to plan and what you have planned already. Yeah, yeah, it's really just helpful and that kind of being able to like tick things yeah. off as you go is really mentally helpful yeah. too. So maybe add a few things that you've already planned so you can cross those two. <laughs> I like to do that on a to-do list. I don't know about anyone else. That's <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Yes. <laughs> and with that, um, maybe go on to think about your budget. Sort of reevaluate where you at where you're at with the spend you've done already what you've got left going forward mm -hmm. has that changed at all over christmas like either because you spent bigger than you thought <laughs> or maybe people gave you contributions towards the wedding over christmas and that kind of thing could go either way <laughs> but yeah just checking where you're at so yeah. you know going forward what you could actually like spend on stuff and then something kind of simple uh, if you've got a pinterest board when you started planning you might have just pinned everything mm. all the ideas yeah, um, threw it on there yeah you might want to go have a look at your board see what you still like edit the board delete some things maybe organize it a bit more uh, so into different sections yeah uh, just so you've got a clearer idea of what you're working towards um, and then it's not so cluttered yeah you sort of just see it more clearly yeah. right like it's less less overwhelming for the brain <laughs> you just con condense condense yeah. it and um, and then we just then like break the ice break the back of it all the planning with just think of a very very small manageable task that you have left to do so i know mean small like just so you can just say break the back of that that planning is just get the momentum going so it can just be things like booking a wedding dress shopping appointment right that's that's it like that's all you have to do and i think doing that kind of thing is enough just to kind of get your brain back into the mode and as i say like if you try to go in too big i think that can seem off putting intimidating yeah. like it might feel too much and you go oh, i'll do that next week kind of thing just yeah it's get in small. there yeah with something small and then do something fun as a couple to Kind of excite get the excitement back about wedding planning so depending on what type of venue you've booked if it's say like a hotel restaurant type venue mm -hmm. you could go and visit you could go and have a meal you could go and stay over for the night just to go and see why you fell in love with that venue in the first place and just have some time out just the two of you getting excited this is where i'll be or where we'll be next whatever next yeah. year saying our vows um, yeah. and reignite that spark of enthusiasm yeah, exactly. right yeah <laughs> and of course watch our videos <laughs> goes without saying yeah <laughs> we said it anyway but yeah no yeah. we just have to say it but you know but seriously though because sometimes like the doing part can be quite like an onerous thing to think about like embarking on so sometimes the thinking part which is obviously like if you watch our videos and things that can just help you to kind of get those juices flowing again and to like brainstorm and think things through a bit so 
as much as that sort of <laughs> our self promotion. <laughs> like, I think it actually could be quite a good strategy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, if we say <laughs> so ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, on that note, why don't you subscribe if you haven't already? <laughs> so nice, you, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you don't miss any more of our videos. If you've got any ideas for what you'd like to see going forward, anything that might help you with your wedding planning, mm. please let us know in the comments below. Uh, give us a like and we'll see you next time. Mm.